Hello, my name is Jacob, and I'll be introducing the topic that my group has decided to work on. Now, one of the biggest questions and problems that the entire world has is where we gather our energy from. There has been a lot of research and a lot of um, public discourse about the amount of pollution that is created in creating the energy we need for everyday life. So we suggest nuclear, which is something that we have access to already, uh, but isn't used so much due to public opinion, uh, due to uh, recent events in history. Um, we recognize that those are issues, and so likely advertising and of the sort would have to be done. However, its efficiency would be well worth it. Currently, only 36 countries use it, and there are strict uh, guidelines in order to make sure it's done effectively, which is good. Um, now, I'll hand it over to my uh, group member to talk about the economic factors. The economies of both the world and individual countries like the United States are greatly dependent on energy production and consumption and are both attempting to decouple their economies from fossil fuel reliance in an attempt to replace them with nuclear energy or reliable energy. A study was performed in the University of Torun in Poland to analyze how increasing nuclear energy consumption increased would affect Spain's economy from the years 1970 to 2018. It was found that increasing nuclear energy consumption during economic expansions did in fact decrease CO2 emissions and the increased nuclear energy consumption did in fact result in economic growth. However, as the economic growth occurred, there was more need for energy and more consumption, which led to the CO2 emissions not decreasing over time. This means that to decouple, fully decouple the economy from CO2 emissions, we would likely need some legislative targeting CO2 emissions themselves. One of the main arguments levied against nuclear is one of cost. Most of these costs are built into the initial construction and capital investment of the project itself. These are mostly related to the scale that we conceive of for nuclear power plants that be large. These can be mostly alleviated by bringing the scale down and go focusing on more modular designs. In fact, small modular reactors are the primary focus for the industry at large at present. Part of a global connection with nuclear energy is knowing its past mistakes and histories. Um, many companies like the International Atomic Energy Agency and the World Association of Nuclear Opportunities do so to try to help fight against human error and basically keep the public safe. Not everybody is able to possess, possess nuclear energy, but um, if you are, we want to make sure everybody has the means and the safety to do it. Part of the role of environmental engineering is to determine safety with reliability and basically to back up all the safety measures with factual evidence. So um, there's programs out there such as MARS that determine whether um, the benefits of having uh, less CO2 emissions outweighs the cost of uh, nuclear energy and the possible negatives that might come with it. In conclusion, nuclear energy is the best energy source for sustainable human growth. They are the leaders in safety, and environmental impact, and they have some definite benefits in terms of economic impacts. We have them as the leader in safety with the least amount of fatalities among any energy group far and alone. We have nuclear power and its environmental impact being extremely minimal as long as the waste is managed correctly, right, you know, from a mountain. And then we also have the economic impact, which is we will not be running hundreds and hundreds of plants. We will be having these small localized huge amounts of energy. And with modular reactors, you are seeing the development of very cheap capital upfront cost in comparison to previous years. It is the opinion of this group that the future of humanity lies with nuclear power, despite the risks from the past and what we've seen.